Okay, so did you know that the players in Squid Game could have actually seen what games they'd be playing before they even played them? Between the matches, the characters were all placed into a room filled with bunk beds, and though this seemed just like a rest area, if you look at the walls, they're actually filled with significant markings. As the beds get slowly stripped away, it's revealed that these paintings are actually all of the games that the players would be playing throughout the tournament. First is Red Light Green Light, there's also the Honeycomb game, Tug of War, the Glass Hopping one, the Three at the Table and lastly the titular Squid Game. The series itself is filled with clues to the eventual reveals and this is also the case with the player who's behind the entire thing. It's absolutely mind blowing and throughout this video we're going to be breaking it all down but I just want to give a huge spoiler alert for the series. If you haven't checked it out then this is your chance to quit playing but if you want to continue then I hope you thumbs up the video and also subscribe to the channel. Without the way thank you for clicking this, now let's get into Squid Game. Okay so at the end of Squid Game we learn that it was Il Nam all along. The final episode reveals that he invented the games as a form of entertainment for him and his rich buddies who had become bored with life. We learn that he had actually got involved in the one that we see in the show because he was dying and wanted a final bit of fun in his life before it was too late. The ending was absolutely incredible and the scene had Ji Hun saying goodbye to the character as he lay on his deathbed. This last meeting actually reflected their first one in which he too encountered the character as he sat in a bed. It was a pretty big twist that pulled the rug out from under your feet but eagle eyed viewers might have spotted early on that there were several clues pointing towards his true identity. Now the first one is that he is number one, the very first player. If we look at the subtext of the series, Ji Hun is the final number and throughout we watch as he very much works his way to first place, aka Il Nam. In the final episode he's left as number one, he inherits a large portion of the character's fortune and comes face to face with him in one of the final scenes. One is symbolic on a number of levels and because it's the first place, it also hints to us that Il Nam is number one and that he's the one controlling everything. In episode 5, Huang Jun Ho sneaks through the compound and he eventually finds a storage room with files on all of the games that have happened over the decades. Upon opening the 2021, the first player there is actually number 2 and Il Nam's profile is completely missing. There is no file for number 1 because he doesn't need or want to keep a record for himself. The other players in the game also somewhat hint towards us that something is off with Ilnam and though it's not too obvious, when you really think about it, he wouldn't be someone that would be selected for the process. Everyone else in the Squid Game is roughly the same age, whereas he's extremely elderly. He's also dying of a brain tumour and thus even if he did win the life changing money, it wouldn't last that long. Though he gives his reasons as to why he wants it, from what we know about the games and the players that have been selected in the past, they're all roughly between 20 and 40 and he's a complete outlier in all of this. Now the games themselves are also major giveaways too. Throughout the series we watched as he said they were all things that he'd played as a child and in retrospect it becomes blatantly obvious that he selected them himself because they're what he knows. On repeat viewings it's clear that each of them are something that he not only played as a kid but they're also things that he's very very good at. Now the first thing they play is red light green light. Whilst the other players are absolutely terrified for their lives, he gleefully struts about whilst the terminator's back is turned and even stops before it looks back to face the crowd. He knows all of the lyrics to the song that the machine sings and therefore knows to stop in advance before it ends and turns back around. If we look at the clip of the targeted players, you might also notice something different about him. The one directly to his left and all of the other ones to the side have a slight green overlay that appears over the top of them. If we look at the players to his right, outside of the girl crouching down beside him, this is also the case too. Everyone other than him in this girl's tracksuit appears slightly green and I believe that this machine sees him without the glow because it's been programmed not to shoot him. If this theory is right then he also has a protective ring around him that stops the machine from firing at people in his vicinity in case it misses and that's why the girl to his right is also safe too. Immediately after this game the players decide to cast a vote on whether they should end the tournament or not. He is the one who makes the choice in the end and casts the deciding vote to end the game. This subtly shows his power over the entire thing and I actually think that he carried this out for a specific reason. He wanted to give the players a chance to walk away from it all knowing the stakes and if they came back then that would ease his conscience slightly as the choice was theirs. Now cut to the honeycomb game and Il Nam ends up choosing the star. Though this seems like a very complex shape, there's not actually any bends in it like the circles or umbrellas. 
Though you might think it's easier to have the triangle, the triangle's lines are longer, whereas the stars are shorter, so there's less to cut through before you hit an edge. Being completely honest though, yeah, the, the triangle is a pretty easy shape too, but Ilnam didn't exactly have one of the difficult ones either. And next we jump to episode 4, in which a fight breaks out during the night. Throughout, Ilnam hides away from the carnage up on one of the bleachers, and he ends up begging for the fighting to stop. Even though up until this point it seemed like the front man was completely in control, he immediately sends the guards in because Ilnam requests it. Another clue is that his bed is the only one that isn't flipped, and this is because the guards likely know who he is. Next they play a game of tug of war, and because of their players it seems like Ilnam's team are about to be sent to their deaths. However, he is the one who tells them how to win, and because of his guidance they easily beat the much stronger team. Ilnam had clearly played the game hundreds of times before and knew the best strategy to take. Any team with him was destined to win and the fact his strategy works definitely proves this. The final game in which he takes part is the marbles one and this also has a lot of clues in it. Throughout it, it seems like the character is struck by dementia and he constantly walks around looking for his house. This game not only pulls from his childhood, but the area does too, and unless the Squid Game organizers were psychic, then they'd have no way of knowing what his home looked like. Throughout the episode, everything he says is brushed away as the ramblings of someone with the disease, but knowing what we know, it becomes all the more obvious that he's in control. In the end, he seems to find his home, and personally, I believe that this is a perfect recreation of it. He's giving the game away because, throughout the entire season, he's letting us know that all of the challenges and environments are based on things from his life. He lets Ji Hun win, and the character is then seemingly killed off camera, but we know that isn't the case. If we look closely at the gate that Ji Hun has just walked out of, we can see that he's no longer there, and though the rest of the court is filled with bodies, his is completely missing. Now knowing what we know, a question you may have is why did Ilnam end up leaving the game at this point when he was still invested in playing? Well, the next game is the deadly hopscotch one, and this is by far the most unpredictable of the lot. If he didn't end up getting put in last place, then there would be a danger that the person behind him could push him to his death, like what we see in the episode. There's also the possibility that due to his brain tumour, he may have forgotten along the way which glass to step on, and he simply couldn't risk it. Now that is of course a theory, but overall going back and knowing what we know, I actually think the series becomes better on a second watch. Now obviously I'd love to hear if you spotted any other ones below, and if this is your first time here, then I hope you enjoyed your trip to the Heavy Spoilers show. We are running a competition right now and giving away 3 copies of the Zack Snyder DC Trilogy, and all you have to do to be on the chance of winning is like the video, make sure you subscribe with notifications on, and drop a comment below with your thoughts on the video. We pick the comments at random at the end of the month, and the winners of the last one are on screen right now, so if that's you, then message me on Twitter at Heavy Spoilers. If you want something else to watch, then make sure you check out our breakdown of Squid Game, which will be linked on screen right now. We've also done one for Midnight Mass, and both of those series are really, really good. So yeah, hopefully I see you over there right after this. If not, then thank you for staying until the end. I've been Paul, you've been the best, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, peace.